Hey everyone, this is Chillum, and this is uh, episode 4 of Redstoning Days. And I've popped back to our farm on Fishcraft servers to uh, check out my wheat field. And it's looking damn fine. It took so long to make that. You would not believe. And it still needs so much more work to be done. But anyhow, quickly now, I've got myself kitted out, more or less. So I want to go check out this nether fortress. It's apparently 161. They changed um, a fair amount. I don't know. I'm not sure. So I wanted to go have a look. Now I've only got mud, which is annoying. I wanted to bring cobblestone, but we've run out. Well, that's a good start. I did bring a lot of uh, arrows and the old dragon slayer bow. He's pretty good. So how did I get over there before? There we go. Just looks like a bunch of legs. Tons and tons of columns. Ah, oh, there's so much of this stuff. I'll have to come back for that later. So how did I used to... Oh, I'm sure I made it up there at some point. Right. Let's see. Uh, now did I do it off the roof? I wish I could remember. Oh yeah, I did. No, I managed to tunnel my way around here before. And there we go. I believe it's that outcropping there. Cool. Alright, so Blaze is already in the distance. Brilliant. I do kind of want a few more of these guys so I can get a few more potion stands going. What I didn't want to hear is that. Nuts! Good luck, guys. Get out of it. Oof, in the face. It's alright, I can take it. No, I can't. This is not Feed the Beast. Dang it! Get out of here. Am I even getting anywhere near you? Meh. Oh, it's going to make this tricky. Tricky and frightening. Let's just. Oh. I just know my shift button's going to fail at some point. I'm going to go plummeting to my death. Oh, this is too much, too much. Come on, come on, come on. Faster. God. Come on. I can hear them ghasts. I'm actually holding my breath. Bloody hell. No. Keep running, keep running. <gasps> I can't breathe, I can't breathe. I'm going to die. Oh. It's always Dragon Slayer. Oh. oh. I lost my Ender Killing Bow, my Ender Dragon, Dragon Slayer. Oof. Wow, that's a blow on my armor. <laughs> oh well. Shit happens in Minecraft, man. It was my own fault. I should have gone there with Jaifish. Shouldn't have tried it on my own. I should have uh, built a too wide platform. Should have done a lot of things. As it is now, I'm going to punch the crap out of this zombie. I'm so angry, stupid. God damn. Why did I do that? Come on. Did you die already? <sighs> Ooh. Hello. Right. Let's be having a look now. <sighs> Consider yourself cured. Sweet. Alright, that's a bit better. 
I still feel naked compared to all my lovely diamond kit. But that's cool. Um, right, let's go get this villager out. Um, this is the only bit I really need to sort out here. At the moment I'm having to manually connect, but it's a temporary solution all around. Oh yeah, there's all of this. <laughs> no, I was busy. I don't know, I've, I've never, never built with trees on the inside. Trees on the inside? Uh, foliage on the inside. I really like the look, so I kind of went for a dark pine wood type thing here. Actually, I've never... Oh! Well, that's interesting. I didn't know it did that. I wonder if I've broken it now. Nah, it's all good. Cool. Uh, anyhow, so yeah, I've, I've done all of this, and I might well keep this or not yet, but I kind of like it. It does open up access to these areas. There's the uh, temporary build area, and that's cool down there. But for now, let's just finish this off. And you're in and safe. Cool. So I think that's number four now. Ooh. Bollocks. Right, so I've uh, cleared up the rail all the way down to the uh, spawn pit because I uh, moved all the villagers down. Hey, Binky. Put Binky in here because he was looking cold. And transferred everyone down here, which was awesome. And then I had a zombie outbreak and lost three or four of them. So... Yeah, that didn't work too well, but uh, this was originally going to be my room for the enchanting uh, setup, but then I realised there was no real place to put the buttons, so I went having a look around, oops, and um, I think, I do. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is actually move into my cave. Now down here, there's a zombie, that's cool. Right down here, there's this lovely big area. With lots of tunnels down deep. And that cross there is what I'm now going to clear using some TNT, of course. Ah, I've been dying to use this for some reason. So, um... All I want to do is clear off this chunk and into that wall a little bit. Then I'll have the enchanting set up here. And I can build the rest of the base out from this and then uh, my entrance corridor. So that will be cool. Get a few primer holes and see. Genius. Absolute genius see what happens. Why Why does that keep happening? I'm always doing that. Right. Okay. So let's drop you down. And there. So if I just go boop, 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 and run, run, run. Ah! That's superb. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So let's see if I can't drop one more down there somewhere. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Man, this is the way to do stuff. It really is. Cool as. Nice and tidy. Excuse my sniffing. Uh, and I brought my box of stuff down here as well, so uh, what I want to do is just get the basic outline done. Now underneath here it doesn't go too deep, and we'll need a couple of levels to fit the pistons. So I'm going to raise this up, but I want to work out where to put the enchanting table. I think... Ha, not there. What I want 
to do is actually put it up on that top level there, so that's okay. And in fact, that is our basic framework right there. Because once the table's in here, these sections along the edge are where the books are going to be, so we'll have pistons directly underneath. That's really handy. So let me show you what I have in mind. Now, if, uh, did I put any torches? No redstone torches? No. Got plenty of wood though. Um, so let's quickly just knock up a crafting table. Thank you. And um, make a couple of torches. Because we're going to need them around the bottom of the pistons. Now, you have to orientate the pistons in the direction you're facing. So if one goes there, and I place a bookshelf on that, then when it's activated, pow, the books will come up and start feeding the enchanting table. That's spot on. Which means that as far as this is concerned... Oh, man! <laughs> As far as that's concerned, it's a hell of a drop. Holy cow. Right, I need to... Um, that seems to be the only spot. Okay. Um, that was brilliant, of course. Let us fill some of this in. <laughs> so I need to go down a few. How far down? Let's have a think. Um, that should do it, actually. That's perfect. It may need to be a little bit more, but I don't think so. So what I'll do is I'll empty all of this out and set up the torches and the blocks under here, and then get right back to you guys. Cool. <clears throat> so under here, we now have lights activating all of these pushes them all up and then we're going to need my pick run out so I need to cut some more wood down uh, wood I need to clear some more of this stone off sorry um, but the idea now I think I'm not sure this probably won't be enough room <coughs> excuse me but one signal down here um, if I awkward let's have a look so that no uh, I just don't have don't have the tools anymore. Let's do that. Actually get you over here. Ping. So that pulls down the ones it's connected to. Which is brilliant. So we're gonna use um, repeaters in this fashion to do the number of blocks to um, push yeah, up. That's generally the idea. Now I'm gonna have to get a new pick and cut my way around here. Because I think all the comparators ultimately are going to have to go. Uh, sorry, all the repeaters are going to have to go along this edge, like so. Um, otherwise, we won't be able to control them individually or in groups. This 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 can't be the only way I can do this. Because this doesn't. You can't do this because the redstone will link, and I need separate controls for each so I can lead cables out but this just seems excessive because now I can send different signals in for those two and one here and one here but this just seems seems too much I mean man this, this got complicated very quickly So yeah, I've got some working out to do. This might take some time. I need to individually hook all of these up and also work out which ones I want to move on which levels. Oh boy. Right. <sighs> Sit back, cup of tea. And let me have a think. So a day has passed. And uh, yeah, I uh, I came back after thinking about this for a while and 
and built some bits up. I'll take you guys through this real quickly. So I've got the wooden framework set up now. I have the books on the pistons. I opted to keep two bookshelves there all the time and that gives you sort of a 1 to 10 um, sort of range. So look. How are you supposed to? I thought you could. How can you enchant a wooden block? Yeah. Um, so yeah, up to about ten ish, nine, ten. I think I've seen an eleven once, but so that's the basic one. And um, I've linked all the bottom ones together in banks of three. And uh, just for a bit of fun, I've added slight delays on each of the repeaters that go in, so they don't all move in exact sequence. So I'll see if I can show this. Um, yeah, so, boop, boop. Just, you know, it's just for a bit of flavour, really. It's completely unnecessary. Um, I just think it looks kind of cool. And so all three of these do that. This one has the middle one going up first, I think, and the other one's following, and the same little vroop pattern down here. Um, now, I haven't done anything with working out which ones to trigger when, so I'm going to get around to that. This might be a bit higgledy piggledy. What I have decided is my original plan was vastly overcomplicated for my skill level with redstone. So it's not going to get much more complicated than this. The trick is um, how to attach the levers, which is probably going to go in a display area along here. Or attach to this wall anyhow. And you can choose like low, medium, high. I guess it's probably going to be where it's going to be at for now. Um, but I've also put the top ones in. Now I'll show you this working quickly. Again, they've got a slight delay and there's a nice little funky bit of tick counting going on at the top there. <clears throat> so, pock, pock, and then in the distance over there, you can see there's the other side. Just about to make it out. Now you see how they come pop, pop, up, up. Um, again, just for a bit of flavour. Now up here, we've got the delay and we've got an extra repeater to um, pulse the signal further forward, that's just to carry it over to these guys here. Now these are set on one and um, two I believe, oops, every time, every goddamn time, right, one, yeah, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, so there's a delay, boff, boff, uh, whereas on this side, they're set on two and four, as it were. Now the reason for that is the pulse that comes up here when it passes through a repeater it takes a tick so going through here to boost it takes one tick so what I wanted to do was hold these off by one extra tick um, to allow these guys to catch up so the pulse could come through and then it triggers all of these four simultaneously so there's no delay otherwise there would be a slight delay between these two triggering and these two triggering here um, which is cool. Stuck a redstone lamp up here with a torch, just adds a bit of light up here to make it slightly safer. And I ran the wire down, as you saw, to here. So we can activate everything by turning you on and then doing a quick loop around the edge and turning everything else off. And digging our way out of here. And the interior looks like this. So this is what the complete 30 level room looks like. Uh, let's just double check. Yes, awesome. So there we go. That's the level 30. Now the variations in between are a little bit funky, but um, yeah, this is kind of cool. I don't know, I might might just replace these with solid blocks. Um, not sure. I quite like the redstone lamps in the corner tucked away. Um, so yeah, I mean, if I just pop the top lot. Yeah, it's interesting. It is cool. It is cool. And then around the outsides where these hollows are, of course, there'll be walls along here. More wood just to um, cover it all up. And the lamps are pretty sweet as well. There's um, to power them, to power two at a time. All I did was put a redstone torch under the block attached to this one. And then a little bit of a redstone dot of powder on the top, which in turn transfers the power from this block uh, into this lamp, so that's quite a sweet little setup. Dead simple. So yeah, we've got to this, and now the last part, I guess, is what I was thinking was, I think I can run... <laughs> Not this time. I've fallen down you before. 
and there. So I think I can just run a line along to here that we can connect them all. Now see what the signal length is from here because these puppies only travel 15. That gets the lot. Yeah, easily. Easily covers the lot. That's awesome. Um, that's hopefully just lagging. Um, what? Where are you getting power from? Hello? Ah, uh, oh, ah, right, okay. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Um, they're the wrong way round. We we're supposed to go that way. And that way. And block. Right, so now we've got a double tick delay on these. Just to get past the um these blocks here. Hmm. It's just a two tick delay for that. Unless I just I could just branch it out one more. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Well, this is gonna start making the underside of this looking a little bit ugly. Which is a shame, but we can fix this, we can fix all of that, we can replace, well we won't be able to replace, but we'll be able to cover. So, let's just push the signal out. One more round, just so it's not interfering with anything. This should be a much simpler, unhindered signal now. Yeah, awesome. Okay. So that's one two and then number three is back there okay so yeah it's just a case of bringing these together pull these wires together to some sort of control panel around this area I think and then it's just um, decorating rejiggery pokering the wood and see what happens so this is alright yeah I'm happy with this this will be good good for my, uh, my, my current skill level definitely so um, yeah let's get this on I had to think about what I wanted to do with the buttons and I thought putting a wall here would work but it actually makes it really claustrophobic so because I'm only essentially having two levels as it were um, let me get rid of them okay um, so all I've got we've got two switches here this one isn't hooked up to anything at the moment and this one's hooked up to a few of them so if I hit that that all comes up if the timing was slightly better it would look kind of cool about now I don't think all of these I think what I'll probably do is have the left and the right side on one level come down and then on the other one bring the top and the back down I'm not sure but that's pretty cool and so the way I did that to hook that up was to um, also the reason why I ended up placing the um, switches here on top of the blocks is they energize oh nuts they power the block directly beneath them which I then put this torch on uh, which in turn is picked up by this redstone on the block below because it powers directly down and this is actually in this area here sorry this area uh, which is then picked up by the repeater which I put there otherwise it would interfere with these signals and goes over and through excuse me um, and just hooks up to all three main lines at the moment um, with an extra repeater here to um, boost the signal for the back lot and it's that simple really so that's just as a, a tester but it, it does work which is nice so what I'll probably try and do is see about using this button it's going to be interesting because that signal if I split the one from the left and bring it across and affect these two I can actually do that pretty quickly. Let's see if this works. Um, 
yeah. So we're not going to need all of this, after all. Um, but what we can do is place another one of them there, so it doesn't stop the signal. This is, of course, going to completely mess up. Uh, that's a bit of a problem. We'll see. Um, and I guess the other way I did it was just to plug that there and then signal it down. So there's now a delay going in each direction, one tick, which is cool. And if I just pop round here and get rid of you, we should be having just the left and the right. Yep, and yep, back ones are stuck up by default. Um, so yeah, we can just drop them for the minute and have a final look. Cool. Cool. So that's six come in. Then it'd be another seven. So close enough. Close enough. Awesome. Um, I've just realised, of course, that this is going to cause issues with this button. So I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to have to work on the wiring down here. But this is looking good. Very near to completion, guys. And then I can just prettify it a little bit. I've uh, managed to make a few decisions and uh, have one more problem to solve. But first, oh, let me just take this down. <coughs> I was thinking about uh, having some lights. Oh, hang on. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, having some lights to show when the levels are done. So when you click that, we go do 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 do. Right, so what I've managed to do, or what I've decided to do, is split the two off. Obviously, this makes a lot more sense to have one uh, lever controlling this side and one lever to control this, and then a third lever to control the back, which is where the last issue is. But so, what this does now, as you can see, it's plink, awesome, which is oh, that's cool. Um, and if you look here, this is the key, and this is a uh, this is a cool little method for sending a signal directly upwards, um, and you just essentially invert and re-invert, revert, invert and revert the signal all the way up. So when this bottom uh, redstone torch is receiving a signal, as it is at the moment, um, it depowers the block above, which in turn switches that, which in turn switches that. And at the top here, we have just some redstone going along and connecting the repeaters as before. So if you watch the lights, See, it flicks, and so now there's no signal on, off, on, on, Bosch. And it actually is handy because it inverts the signal for me, which is great because that's what these, uh, oops, these do down here. That's pretty sweet. So what I'm going to do is quickly show you that on the other side. Um, and I think, I think, yeah, we've got wood and all sorts of goodness. So um, all I did was run it up. Was it next to the lights? It was one away from the lights, or two away one away from the lights. So it would be on this line here. So we just plunk a block down to start with and connect up and link this all the way through. That's cool. Um, oops, I've gone one too far back. That would help. There we go. Let's get that right. So bang, that's better. Um, and then pop. Turns it off one above that. Now, thankfully I've left the stairs this side. A little bit trickier on the other. And on. And uh, you for an off in there. Which is just there. Boop. And now that's off, which in turn means that if I just replace this block here. <laughs> Not that. That. Now these are connected up to that chain. And I think I already go one and two and one and two. That's great. So now this switch should also be connected. Aha, fantastic. There we go. Boop, boop. That's great. And down. Excellent. 
So again, same, exactly the same principle. Just plop, plop, plop. Change. What am I doing with these plop, plop, plops? Jesus. Yeah, excuse me. Um, there we go. So the lights change. That's fantastic. Now the last problem is um, a final switch. I think um, to control this back lot here. Now it would be easier. I was thinking about having this switch here. And it might be easier just to transfer all of these to have them come down from the ceiling. But it does remove my nice little cover area there. Although that will just be shifted forward one. So yeah, I think I'll do that actually. So this here. Um, and you are going to be replaced with pistons and goodness. Um, and that means that... What's this block here? becomes the new stair. Sorry, I'll well, we get this right. There we go. Cool. Yeah, that's, that's kind of snug and nice. And I might just turn this on and off as well when you use them. But yeah, I think that's the last button to connect. And we're done. Poof. Uh, so that's it. It's complete. It is finished. I've connected or moved up the pistons to the top. Connected them with repeaters with a slight offset. And just attached the lever. It's the simplest part of this whole thing so it's finally done. I just need to wrap it up tidy it all up. I started putting some stone bricks in there I don't know if I like it and I added lights under each switch now so that's how it looks. Empty I can activate it and them and them and there you go that's full. So I think these holes I'll fill something in with or fill in with something but that's it cool. This episode has taken forever to make. Uh, so much so that this last part I've been off and dungeoned with the guys and girls and I've got myself some lovely kit now. So I'm looking grand. There we go. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching episode 4 of Redstoning Days and uh, look out for the uh, Fishcraft Dungeons vid for where I've got all this beautiful armour from. <laughs> That'll be coming soon. Cool. See you later.